Welcome to my behind the scenes video. In this video, I'll show you what goes behind each Vocaloid project I create. Now this is not gonna be a comprehensive one like my tutorial, but anyway, let's begin. So here's my workplace, uh, more like my bedroom. And the centerpiece is this laptop, which I got cheap from a second-hand store. This is where I do most of the work. I connected it to that amplifier over there with a pair of speakers I found lying around our house. And I put it on top of two CPU cases to keep them off the floor. And finally, we have that keyboard, which I use in compositions and making MIDI's. So here's a general outline I usually follow when I'm creating my projects. First, we have to decide what song we should create and some concepts and ideas on how I'm going to present it. This is usually the most boring part of the production, so we're going to focus on the production and post-production. Now that I have decided what song to create, I'm going to look for an instrumental for that song. I usually just have to search YouTube for it. But if the song is so obscure that there's no instrumental for it, I'm going to whip out my keyboard, connect it to the computer, launch FL Studio, and jam away. Next is the VSQ. First, I'll check if someone already made the VSQ of the song I want to cover. Usually, it's from Mamzir or Ryan. Yeah, you could blame that guy for all the weird Oliver covers. But if there's no VSQ, I'll just have to create it myself. What I do is import the instrumental to FL Studio and using my keyboard, play the melody along with it. This generates the MIDI, which then I import to Vocaloid Editor. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to tune in this video because I'm not that good, but I'm going to show you what I did to the raw MIDI to make it sound like the final VSQ. Here is Lullaby for a Princess before it was tuned. Fate has been cruel and order unkind. How can I send you away? When I'm tuning, I usually hum or sing the part that I'm working on so I could hear the pitch bends and other nuances. Then using the parameters, I try to imitate that. So it helps a lot if you're familiar with the parameters. Fate has been cruel and order unkind. How can I have sent you away? Once I'm done tuning, I'll import the instrumental and the vocalic wave file to FL Studio. I also adjust the volume of the instrumental or the vocals to make sure none of them is louder than the other. This is also the part where I synchronize the instrumental and the vocals, which I tackled in the previous tutorial. An important step in mixing is equalizing. Now you have to use your ears on this one because there's no really correct way of doing it. Just make sure each part has some space in the frequency. Next is the reverb. It usually depends on the genre of the song. Just make sure to balance the reverb levels as not to make them too loud or too obvious. Finally, I record the automation data to make sure the instrumental and the vocals are completely level with each other. Now that we're done with the music portion of the production, let's give the viewer something to look at. It could be as simple as looking for a picture in Pixiv, then putting some lyrics on it. More complex projects such as this require animating in NMD and some editing using video editing tools. Projects like this usually use a script or a storyboard like this one, which tells me what should appear on screen and their corresponding lyrics. After that begins the time-consuming process of animating each scene in MMD. Recent projects such as Lullaby uses After Effects, but it's extremely frustrating to use, especially on the laptop 
and even on my desktop because it keeps lagging. Oh sh**. Rendering can take a lot of time. It can even take up to 20 minutes to render a 1 minute After Effects video. And MMD starts lagging if I use too many models. Now it's time to put it all together. I import the finished visual and audio to Vegas. At this stage, I add the lyrics and synchronize the audio to the video. This is also the part where I check for errors such as wrong lyrics or bad mixing, and if necessary, put it back to production. Renders like this can take from 20 minutes up to 2 hours. I also create the title cards, which becomes the thumbnail of the video. Once the video is rendered, it's time to upload it. I put on the title on the description, and also the annotations. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this behind the scenes video. What is this? It's so hot!